Welcome back to PG Chain Design. Today, I would like to talk about this simple form, but actually a lot of the detail, how to creating the shape specific to have an angle without actually deforming to apply on a curved surface. Are you ready? Let's get started. I have many students ask me they want to create something like a really geometric shape but flow back to the curved surface right there and basically they can create in the pattern when it is flat and when they try to flow or use the catch edit it always deform it a lot and so today we are going to talk about how do you build from a scratch not to deform it and but it looks not uh, really nicely hopping on that surface so that's starting from the scratch so creating this pattern is actually quite simple. So let me hide in this one to starting from the scratch to show you. Basically, we need to have some curve and with those curve, it create a bunch of these surfaces that you can go being up and down. So I'm going to come into the top view and I'm going to use the start command and snapping into the zero and change the number here for 12. And we want to holding the shift and coming down like depends on how spiky that you want for this star. After you do that, I also wanted to starting from the zero and Maybe I want my star starting from right here. So I want to creating a shape right here and another shape of the polyline right there. And with the same curve, I'm going also going to mirror that the same curve and using this as a axis and have it over here. We only need to create once because we can always use a polar array. So let's go ahead to pick up this curve, all those four curves. And we want to turn on the control point and we want to pick up this one right here and this one right here. With this curve, I want to give in some definition. So let's go ahead to moving it up like this. And we actually don't need this line. And once we have it up, we wanted to create a straight line snapping the endpoint to this endpoint, and that allow us to creating the surface, right? So let's go ahead to use the surface command that you have one for surface from two, three, four edges, and wanna pick up one, two, and three, hit enter, then you'll get that surface. You're gonna pick up the same one, two, three, and then you get this surface, right? So we can go ahead to pick up this one and this one, and let's go ahead to join it. So let's go ahead to, after exploded the star, we are going to pick up those points and you can pick it up higher or lower, it's up to you. So I would like to pick up something almost the same high right there. And after that, we just need to using the polyline to snapping into the endpoint to the endpoint right there. All right, with all this line there, we are going to use the same command, surface from two, three, four edge curves, and we're gonna pick up one, two, and three. Then you hit enter. And to save your time, you can just use in the mirror command that we're gonna mirror in between here and here. So then we can join this as well. Once we have all of them to create the rest of it coming into the top view, we can use the polar array and for 12 of them, 360 degree, and I will get something like this. Go ahead to join everybody. All right, so now if you take a look on this, this will be the shape that we are having here. Now, if I'm going to move it this on the side, and we are going to create some sort of a round surface. So I'm gonna using the sphere, Snapping into the zero right here, and I'm going to create something look like this. And I wanted to want to scale it down with the gumball. And then so we'll get something like this, all right? Now the question is, how am I gonna apply this to this surface? Can I use flow along surface? The answer is no. Let me show you why. If you use flow uh, along surface, you need to create a UV curve first to know what the area is. Unfortunately, this area coming into the really rectangle, and if you apply this into this rectangle, you may stretch like crazy over there. So that doesn't work. Then you may say, what about use the uh, cage edit? I have a specific video, I'll put it on the right top corner, that's specific talking about the cage edit, and then you will deform it a lot as well. 
So that one, it doesn't work either. So the best way is actually building all the surface that I show you on this surface directly. All right. Uh, the, there's a little tiny detail you want to pay attention. So I'm going to explode everybody and just pick up this curve, this curve, and all this curve. All right. With those curve, let's take a look on um, if I rebuild them. It's currently showing the point is two and the one. So two point degree one. And that's how we create a straight line. Now, what I wanted to do is come into my top view and use the project command to project it to this surface. Okay. Now let's take a look on the perspective. I have both top and the bottom and I don't need the one on the bottom. In fact, I don't need any, anybody else beside the one on the top. So let's go ahead to pick up the one on the top that we needed. And using the selection tool, you have this one for inverted your selection. And we deselect the surface. And then we want to hide in everybody else. All right. Now let's take a look on those curves one more time. And we want to use the rebuild command. And it is showing currently is the three and the two, which is the three point and degree two, which it, it is follow the surface curve. But it's hard to build the surface when it is a degree two and it has the curve already. So we want them to turn it back to two and a one. So two point degree one. I'm going to select everybody right here with all the curve and we're going to use the rebuild command and we're going to rebuild everybody back to two and a one. All right. Notice that it become a straight line, but the point, as you can see, the point right here, the point right there, this point and this point, they all on the surface. All right. And this is how we keep it really straight. And let's go ahead to use the same way we build that surface. First of all, I would like to have this point when they contact here, the point right at this point go a bit higher. So I'm going to have them go something like this. All right. So they will be above the surface. And I also want this point right here. So I'm going to pick up this curve and this curve and specific pick up on this point. This one I want to get a little bit higher, something like this, right? And see if you like the angle that you have there. Once you like it, we're going to build it one by one, like the one that I showing you here, but I'm going to fast forward here. So it save you some time. Let's go ahead to use the same command and using the mirror, create that first surface. All right. As you can see now, this is really nicely hopping on all this, uh, uh, on the surface right there. All we need to do is join them. And to creating the thickness on the side, we want to use duplicate border. And let's go ahead to have this curve right here that we just duplicated. And I would like to go on the top view used to project to the C plane. And we want to delete the input right there. So now it's completely flat and let's go ahead to extrude it. Now using this one surface, we just created to trim the extra there and let's go ahead to join it. After that, we just need to cap it. So then we have two solid there. Let's take a look on the render view. Let's take a look on the render view. So now you will have this hopping nicely on the surface as the one that I finished adding some point right there. And I know this might be a tiny detail, but it's going to make your cat work more professional. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.